Hi guys, uh, first of all I want to thank, express my deepest gratitude for the user who wrote the comment beautiful under my last, my previous video, why is God sad? I want to thank, thank you and uh, really, really thank you. And uh, Actually, I wanted, I didn't want to make any videos anymore because uh, there would be no new insights anymore. And it would have been a, a great, uh, a great, uh, I don't know, culmination point or a great end to my videos. But now I have the, the, the voices of hell again, the very bad voices, and they are forcing me to make another video. They are, they are saying this night or tomorrow chaos will bring break out in my life. The chaos that I would have brought to the universe if given power. Yeah, and I also believe that because now you cannot wish more, you cannot, than, than this beautiful reaction to my last video. So I... I think this kind of work is, work is finished now. And now really my stepfather would say life B begins. Das Leben B fängt an. Yeah, so what will happen tomorrow or, or, or even this night because God cannot wait. He has time goes on and then we need a, we need to, to bring things into movement, to, to initiate things into movement. We cannot stay where we are, so something will happen, yeah. To be honest, I'm just afraid of two things, really. First is I'm afraid of God, and I'm afraid of making mistakes. I have, for a few, for maybe for the past two weeks, I really try to not no longer do mistakes, to no longer be lazy, as I have been, unfortunately, for far too long time. So for two weeks, I'm struggling to be, to not, to avoid any mistakes. And also tonight I, I try to do it, but maybe I'm, I was too slow. I, I fell out of synchronicity. Uh, yeah, I, I'm afraid that I'm now no, no longer synchronous with the world I'm living in. I still had some kind of fake, maybe a, a synchronicity or maybe a fake synchronicity uh, before I started to do this video here. But I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, I'm really not, this stupid, I can take it off. I'm really not sure uh, if it was a real or just a imagined synchronicity. And I, I was too slow, I should have said, a very kind and loving nurse uh, bye bye when she left the ward but I, I was not ready I was still in my room and she went away without saying a, f a last bye bye to me which is not a good sign yeah. but I look I tried I, I was in my I was too long in my room I should have gone out earlier but in in the end, you are always more clever. You always know, not always, but you sometimes know what would have been good. And I cannot undo undo this seemingly small mistake. So I can just do this video here and apologize and pray to God that God forgives me. But it's clear that some mistakes cannot be forgiven because they they had an effect. They will have an effect on on all uh, causal kit and causal change chains or series of events. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Everything is so sad. Everything is so sad. But but there will be. I think everything will come good in the end. There will be forgiveness and salvation, and but it will be a, a truly, 
a truly difficult or horrible path to there. And I also now, I think I also know now now how I will be, have to suffer, how the humans will assist God in creating maximum suffering in me. Uh, Yeah, this I also know, but I, I even think, I even, I think I even know the method now, but I don't talk about that because the people will, will, we see, do, and realize it, so I don't have to say it now. And it's also easy to guess. It's not a difficult guess. Given today's possibilities and technology, so the, the problem, that, that the real fear that I have is what God will do with me in the afterlife. Because then, then, a punishment can really reach un, unimaginable scope. Uh, because you don't have a body anymore that limits your suffering. Some, a few billion neurons that, that are limited to this number of neurons. But in the, in the afterlife, it, you, can, you can suffer limitlessly because you have no body anymore. Yeah, so, yeah, the voices are, they even contended that there are hierarchies in the universe, that the universe is hierarchical in structure, but this I don't know. I I don't think, yeah. The universe, I think, is perfectly democratic. There is God above everything and below uh, its creatures that have all equal equal uh, rights and equal power and that there is no hierarchical structure we don't need hierarchies also in the universe it's enough if we have them on earth yeah among us humans yeah what did i want to what did i want to say else I just apologize for doing this video here because this video is totally a, it's a, it's a, uh, an intuition, a, intuition. Ah, this is an easy one, this is a, no, it's a, Disappointment, yeah, this video is a disappointment because after the after reaching the highest highest level of of appreciation for my videos in, in the earlier video, now I'm I'm destroying all or I, I'm destroying the moment I'm I'm It's as if I haven't if I hadn't accepted this gift, this present from this user, from you user, and I'm trampling in with it with my feet. But the, it's the voice, it's the voices. The voice is forcing, are forcing me to, to do this other video here. So maybe tomorrow, chaos will break out. <laughs>
bye thanks for watching and don't be disappointed by this video it was the the voices from hell who forced me to do it